You know, I spoke right before Ron Paul just a few weeks ago, right outside Austin. He talked about how his, his poll numbers just go up and up and up, and the support just gets greater and greater and greater as he resists all of this, and as he says no to this, and as he throws the lobbyist out of his office. The truth is, when the whole world's sold out, you guys are going to get more power out of not going with the system. This thing is in terminal velocity. This thing is falling down around itself. The corruption, the comprehensive annual financial reports, the scams. Now, got about nine minutes left. I'm going to try to go through these points because they're all very, very important. Section 213 of the First Patriot Act lets them break in your house or any business and take whatever they want or plant whatever they want and not tell you for six months they were there and they're administrative, they're rubber stamps. They aren't for Billy Bob's house because we think he has this under the Fourth Amendment. They're for everybody. They're for whole classes of people. And now under the new Patriot Act, they have sections where they say our officers need not even need these administrative subpoenas or warrants. They can just carte blanche go anywhere they want for any crime or suspected crime. And the spokesman for the Justice Department just a few months ago, after Ashcroft admitted, okay, there is a Patriot Act too, went before the House and Senate, and this was in the news, in the Associated Press, and said, well, yeah, we're going to use this in all crimes, all drug crimes, everything, misdemeanors, uh, third-degree felonies, everything. That's on the record. U.S. attorneys, deputy attorneys, assistant attorneys, all these people, they're saying, yeah, we're going to use this for everything. They're, they are using it for everything. The Victory Act, which is a continual salvo in this attack on the American people, clearly states that any possession of a controlled substance is an act of terrorism under Section 802, pointing back to that enacting clause, well, it endangers human life. It's a weapon of mass destruction. They've actually got articles in the news about, oh, yeah, they're charging people with weapons of mass destruction because they had marijuana. We don't want to be part of this. This is crazy. People disappearing in the middle of the night. I mean, what did Alexander Schultz and Nietzsche say in Gulag Archipelago? Oh, how we burned in the camps later, wishing that when the secret police went out at night to come to our doors, we would have met them, met them downstairs with pokers and axes and daggers. Now, I've, I've been to the fucking city council. I've mentioned radiation, which it's not alpha radiation, which you can block with a piece of fucking paper. It's not beta radiation, which you can block with a sheet of tinfoil. It's gamma radiation, which you can't block with shit, but your body. So there's the uh, nuclear fallout map that I got from globalresearch.com showing the nuclear fallout. Um, coming to the coast of California right there. And um, also, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that um, I mentioned a bunch of percentages of animals and plants that are being radiated. And the bluefin tuna percentage is now up to 100% of our bluefin tuna is contaminated with radiation. Then I went down there, we went down there talking about fluoride. Okay, which is another poison damaging people's shit. I'm Nathan Sweeney from District 6. I want to talk about Sacramento City Code uh, 8.60.010 hazardous materials for fluorosilicic acid that the city uses to uh, add to the drinking water for water fluoridation. Uh, the purchase order is from Solvay Fluorides. And so I went to Solvay Fluorides and I obtained a material safety data sheet for fluorosilicic acid. So right there, just following the, the city code, uh, you can't put fluorosilicic acid in the water. Okay, now let me read the definition, the government definition of terrorism in the Patriot Act. The endangerment of human life that is in any violation of federal or state law. Why now, we why? go down there and talk about radiation and fluoride poisoning people, and they're knowingly doing it what the fuck do you call that? That is called terrorism. The city council is a group of fucking terrorists. I got the fucking state law right here, too. California what is it? Code. Name what it says. It's California Title Code. Title 10. You can't put 11, it in the water. Appendix 10, 
list of chemical names and common names for hazardous waste and hazardous materials. You go down the list, you know, the shit that's on the list, it's like... It says you can't put it in the water, right? Yeah, it's right here, number, where is it? Number 383, hydrochloric, wait, no. Number 384, hydrochlorosilicic acid, a.k.a. fluosilicic acid. X means toxic, C means corrosive. So a.k.a. A. chloride. That's the shit they're putting in the water. Violate state code. There you go. We need to fucking call Homeland Security, report them for fucking terrorism right now. Put that by number right now. I got it in my fucking phone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's fucking call them right now. Let's do let's it. Let's do it, man. Here. On speaker. Right on top in case you need the definition of terrorism. You have reached the Sacramento Regional Terrorism Threat Assessment Center hotline. Please hold while we transfer you to our on-duty staff. Please, I'm going to transfer your call. There we go, calling the Sacramento Fusion Center. Hi, I wanted to report an act of terrorism here in Sacramento. Okay, um... You can hold for a minute. I don't know. You should have some elevator music in the background. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's go here. What is your name, sir? Nathan Sweeney. How do you spell your last name? S W E E M. What agency? Yeah. Uh, Sacramento Info Bros. Info? Info Bros. D-R-O-S? Yeah. Okay, and uh, go ahead with your report. Uh, okay, so here in Sacramento, we got, uh, I got documents to prove that the city of Sacramento is releasing uh, fluorosilicic acid into the the city water and the American and Sacramento rivers. Can you email those documents to me, please? Uh, yeah. What's your email? Uh, let's see. I cannot get that out to you. Um, well, how are we supposed to get the documents to you? Can I have an address to mail them to you or something? Uh, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this off to. Uh, duty officer who will probably contact you for them. Um, probably. Uh, what chemicals did you say? Uh, well, the chemical formula is H2SIF6. It's right in the but Sacramento AKA, City Code. I mean, different names for it is hydrofluorosilicic acid or fluorosilicic acid or uh, hexafluorosilicate. Two parts hydrogen, one part silicon, six parts fluorine. Uh, that's it. I mean, it's I got. I'm looking at the city, uh, the state code right here, chapter or Title Ten, Chapter Eleven, and it's in. It's even listed in the state code. So I mean, that qualifies as terrorism, right? If it's a known, uh, if it's a known hazardous substance, and they're willingly, you know, deliberately putting it into the water, Patriot Act, into the environment. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, forward this on to the appropriate people, and uh, they may or may not uh, reach back out to you. All right, what was your name again? Robert. Robert what? I'm not telling you my last name. Okay. All right, thank you so much for your time. There you go. What's Add that one word fucking Add sentence? What is that one word sentence I have written down from the Patriot Act? About terrism. Yeah, there you go. Do you I need to know, know any fucking, fucking thing else... Besides the endangerment of human life that is in any violation of federal or state law. And it says right there in the Sacramento state fucking law that you can't put fucking fluorisic acid in the goddamn water. You want to give me his fucking email? He doesn't give out the email. Doesn't give he doesn't name. give his last name. He says they probably will call you back.
Yeah. Who is the fucking terrorist here? No, I'll tell you what. I don't know if I told you this. But I, I also reported it to the California Department of Toxic Substance Control. Because they're the ones who, this is their jurisdiction. Title 10, hazardous waste, toxic substances, that's their jurisdiction. I reported it to them. And they said, no, don't worry about it. It's normal. We got to get everybody sex with the bros to fucking call them up. Yeah. And you know, there's also... I've sent right. letters to the... Like, everybody in the fucking city. The city attorney, the chief of... The fire chief. Because he's the one... If you look at the city code, he's the one in charge of it. For the city code, he could just shut it down. The fire chief, right? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't even have to wait for authorization from the city council. He I could did just not know that. shut that shit down because it's, you know, endangering the public. I did not know that. That the fire city chief had that much power. Only, you know, for like chemical spills and shit, which disqualifies us. Well, you know, who else has more power than anybody in the county? The sheriff. Call him up. <laughs> I don't know if I got his number. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. 